Today, we're talking about games that could perhaps be educational. Um, I can't think of any educational game. I would, its whole purpose was education first and fun second. However, we were talking about, for me personally, I learned through Mariposas that uh, the monarch uh, butterfly migrated north. The first generation of the butterfly never makes it back. It's the third or fourth generation uh, that makes it all the way back when they're migrating south. So that's a small fact that I, I found that I learned through board gaming. But can you guys think of any other board games that taught you something? Uh, I'd say Rourke, Donna Kiev. Uh, it's talking about the founding of that, that country and the family, the first family that was there and the fractions that existed after the uh, father had passed away. Okay. Well, what about Wingspan? And uh, as popular as that game is, uh, Wingspan shows the difference of all the birds and all the facts that they have on the cards themselves. And you learn a lot of different facts based off of the different uh, activities and uh, their habitats, the and, habitats like and, yeah. and wingspans and all that stuff. And yeah, uh, wingspan for sure. Yeah. Quite interesting. Well, I actually worked for the US EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, and we have a team there and we developed a game based on some scientific concepts. So this is actually a game that uh, first was an educational piece, and second, we try to make it fun. So we're going to try and play through that today. All right, well, let's get on to the team one. Let's see how to play. Welcome back, gamers. My name is Ricardo. Jason. Amy. Mark. And, and we play we games. games. So today we play games. We Mark brought us a game. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself and what, where we're playing today, Mark. Sure. So um, I was trained as an ecologist. I work at the United States Environmental Protection Agency as an ecologist. And I'm working with a team there that developed this game to talk about the concepts of what nature does for people. Uh, so the game's called Nature's Benefits. I'm going to introduce the card types and then we'll start playing. So basically what we have is a matching game. We have ecosystems here. I'm going to show you that card. So the ecosystem types are all color coded. This happens to be a wetland. It's got a purple box. Next to that is the natural resources that each ecosystem produces. And again, uh, they're color-coded, so show at the bottom there. So at the bottom, it shows what ecosystems produce this actual natural resource. In this case, it can be wetlands, forests, or farmland. And again, you can look for the color coding on that. So they are produced by this ecosystem. And then what you have in front of it, each of the players is uh, their role. So there are four roles. There is an industry leader, a city mayor, agricultural commissioner, and conservationist. Okay, so these are... And then each one of those roles has four, four beneficiaries that they're basically taking care of. So these are the people in the community that uh, is their responsibility, basically, to get out there uh, and get natural resources. And that's how you score points. So on every one of these cards... Show this one here. It's the commercial fisherman. In each one of these cards, you can see there's four shapes and colors. Those correspond to the different players. Uh, green, yellow, orange, and blue. And the numbers obviously inside are the score or the points that you score when you play that card onto the table. Okay. And then looking at the table here, if this was what was on the table to play, you'd be looking for a beneficiary that would, could use trees, plants, and flowers. You'd look down at your uh, beneficiary cards here, like I have one here, ranchers, that can use trees as a resource. And so you put that there. I would get two points from that. And a co-benefit of that is that the conservationist will get one point. So some of these cards give you three points. That's your max. And that's, I'm sorry to interrupt, yep. that's based on the icons? Yes, it's based on the icons here. So each one of your roll cards has a color and a shape. Okay. Uh, and then on each card here, there's those colors and shapes. Okay. That's and basically, whatever's played out here is what your score is. So you can keep track of your score as you go along. Okay. So everybody sees their score at the end of the game altogether. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, there are ways for uh, cards to be removed from the table. Okay, there's several event cards. So these are these three here with the different borders. Uh, one of those are natural disasters. Uh, they come out of the deck randomly and can affect ecosystems. So if this natural disaster came up, which is the invasive species, it affects uh, wetlands. Let me show that real quick. Again, you can color code the wetland there. Uh, what this does, it's played on top of one of the ecosystem, corresponding ecosystems. So that would go there, and it cuts off the production of natural resources for a turn. Mm -hmm. So you would take out this, and now, because the ranchers are left out there with no supporting uh, natural resource, they'd be returned to my hand, and of course, uh, I've lost those points. Got and it. then the ecosystem recovers, and it can be played on again. Got it. Uh, the same thing can happen when um, a person draws and plays a human activity event. So in this case, it's draining the wetland. These actually score points for the players. So in this case, uh, there's points on the card for two of the players. Uh, it's draining them to put residence, residence housing and stuff in, which is something you know that the roles would want to do, uh, especially the city mayor. And what that does, though, is it cuts off the natural resources because it's been drained. So that mm -hmm. would go away. And then, of course, the ranchers now can't use that same land uh, for the tree. And so they would be removed. This stays in play and corresponds uh, score for the, for the player that the uh, points are for. But you can protect the ecosystems if you use these cards. These are the sustainable management cards. So if you manage that wetland appropriately, it becomes more resilient. You can play these cards on top of the corresponding ecosystem, just like that. They're kind of nice. Everybody gets a point for that. And now if, uh, let's see, if my ranchers were there. If a natural disaster came up or somebody wanted to play a drain wetland, neither of those cards could affect that anymore. Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't be able to play this card. Uh, and this would just bounce off be no problem and then whoever's uh using that ecosystem to produce natural resources for their beneficiaries would be still fine still have their points okay and that's basically it there are two ways to play the game one is competitively and that's basically people sitting around the table here it's a four player game each person's playing to get the most points by the end of the game uh you can do it various different ways uh, this was designed for classroom play for like seventh and eighth graders. Um, you can uh, you can be younger or older than that. We've tried it with with both in beta testing. It's worked okay. Uh, in competitive, you're trying to get the most points. You can go for a 45 minute time span, or you can play to like 10 points. Uh, we usually recommend that, or you can just play until the cards run out. That's another way to uh, limit how long the game goes as well. How does it play with uh, in, in teams, in co-op, in classrooms? Right. So if you play co-op, um, <clears throat> what you're doing there is as a table or as a team of four, you're trying to get the, uh, the most cumulative score out of all your points. So you add all your points together as a team, and then you compare your team to another table, for example, where they'd be playing another version of the games. Right. Yeah. And so it does play actually very differently. Uh, it's a lot less cutthroat, obviously. Yeah. Uh, and one of the things I'll mention, uh, it's kind of an important thing to know before you start playing, is the sustainable management cards, they give a point to every player. So that's not really uh, that uh, interesting when you're playing competitively, right? Because you're giving everybody a, a point, so right. there's no standing change. But it does generate four points for the team, and that's the most points you can get from any one card mm -hmm. being played. Everything else is um, either one, two, or three. Three is basically the maximum you do, unless you play one of these. So for our gameplay, we're probably going to do not co-op. <laughs> yeah, we'll do competitive. We'll do competitive. But I, I could see how, if you want to implement this game in a seven, eight, eight grader class, yep. you want to do teams, and you want to try to... It's actually... the ecosystem so everybody gets yeah. as many It's kind possible, of fun right? to play both ways so really? let them play competitively first because that's the, they're used to playing games that way right right and then play cooperatively and there's actually some lessons learned from how things uh play out in the game right 
All right, well, let's go ahead okay. and start playing uh, between ourselves and see how it goes. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to deal seven cards to every player. And while I'm doing that, I'd like uh, the players to tell us which role you're playing. Okay, so I'm the conservationist. Uh, my, as the conservationist, I oversee the environmental management decisions, including managing natural resources for public use. I am the industry leader. The industry leader oversees activities needed for processing raw materials and manufacturing and distributing of goods. I represent the miners, shippers, local business owners, and industrial manufacturers. And today I'm going to be playing as the city mayor. The city mayor oversees services and basic needs for the residents. Uh, I represent the residents, the students, and researchers, researchers. Uh, drinking water suppliers and energy suppliers. And I'm playing the agricultural commissioner. Agricultural commissioner oversees the growth and harvest of raw natural materials for production or consumption. And their beneficiaries are farmers, foresters, commercial fishermen, and ranchers. Okay. So we have our hands of seven. To start the game, you place an ecosystem card out in the middle. Usually pick the river. Um, and then we will start play. So there's a draw deck here. Uh, during your turn, you're going to draw a card. And then you can play a card, one card, from your hand. And then, if possible, you can also play one of your um, beneficiary cards and score points. So, All right. Do you want to take the first turn? Uh, absolutely. So I'm going to take a card. Oh, you know what we have to do, too? <clears throat> forgot this was that so after you deal the cards out you have to put in the natural disasters so i'm going to go ahead and put them in and then shuffle the deck don't okay. worry about it um the first card there it's not a big deal how many of those are there there are five okay. they correspond to the five different types of ecosystems okay and i am going to start with clean water um it's a lovely River, produces, River clean water. produces clean water, and because of that, I am going to play my drinking water supply that will provide me with a couple of points there. Right, the two points. You get two points, and the industry player gets one as a co benefit from that. Yeah, he gets one, right? Okay. Yep. Okay, that's your turn. I'm gonna draw my card. Now we're playing, we're playing to, um, 10 points, right? We're just yeah. playing real pass right now. Play to a 10 short points. game to 10 points. If you're in the classroom, you can play to a time limit, like 30 minutes or 45 minutes. Um, you can play until the deck runs out. That's the longest version of the game, basically. Or, of course, you can play to a certain amount of points. So today we'll play 10. Okay. So I'm going to build off of the river, play farmland. And from farmland, I oh, play yeah. one card from your hand. hand. That's yep. right. That's and right. then a beneficiary. But you should Two. be able to play because this is everybody's resources out here. So I will go with shippers. Shippers. Okay. Um, so that's my card. Thank you for the points. Ooh. Uh, so I'm going to play. I'm going to play another river. And ecosystem cards can be played diagonally from any other, or diagonally or straight from any other ecosystem type. Mm -hmm. And then that corner symbol helps us with that. Um, wait, did I draw my card? Yeah, I did. And I could play swimmers, right? Oh, wait, no, that's all uh, over here. They can be Sorry. in the clean water, clean sure. Water. They're swimming along with the ships. Yep. And once again, that's um. there's a symbol in the corner of those uh, natural resources that help you figure that out. All right. So I'm up, right? Seven. Okay. Yep. Okay. So. I need. I think I will play. I'm going to play fish and shellfish. I'm going to put it right here between these two rivers. Now it's being produced by both, which is kind of nice. Uh, and I will play my commercial fisherman off to the side there. Okay, so right now, just and to point out turn. to everybody, as far as points, we got two points for the agricultural commissioner. 
um, two, four points for industry leader. It's five, actually. Five. One, two, three. Oh, no, four. Four, right. yeah. And for the city mayor, we got two, three, four. And for the conservationist, only got two points. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, funny how that works out, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And All right. So I'm going to draw a card, and we are going to for conservation. Is there always struggling? Play the. Oh, okay, so Urban that park. farmland got turned into a housing development, which uh, benefits you as the city mayor and the industry player. Yes. So they get a point each for that. And then I am going to take my student in researchers and play it on the fish and stuff. I think. Once again, card. let me just show this real fast while Jason takes his turn. This is a human activity event. They have the white and orange border and they're placed over um, ecosystems. And if there were any natural resource being produced by that ecosystem, they would be removed from play along with their beneficiaries if, if they're not supported anymore. Right. And remember, if anybody draws a natural disaster, those are played immediately. Natural disasters are um, a orange, no, a, yeah, yeah, it's like a hazard stripe, yeah. orange and black, orange and black stripe. So, I will extend our well, go to Long River, Long, <laughs> yeah, and I will play my now. You can only play those up, down, one, left, or right from a natural resource. Oh, so it's not based off that one, correct? Yeah, got it, yeah, it'd be this one here, got it. So that's your turn. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. We need more natural resources. We do. We need some natural yep. resources out there. Yeah, there's specific things in the ecosystems that people benefit from. So these have to be represented in the game. Okay, so let's go ahead and do. Um, I drew my card. I'm going to play shells, rocks, and fossil fuels of this river. Okay. And can I play? I can play. Let's play collectors and gatherers. Perfect. Benefit from that. Uh, let's do it here. Okay. All right. Oh, my card. Hmm, interesting. Ah, I wish that farm land was still there. <laughs> That's annoying. Uh, yeah, I really need that. Let's see. There's no way to remove those from no, play, right? The human been activities destroyed. It's hard to go back. So Damn those humans. Mm, <laughs> yeah. Can't farm that. Uh, farm, farm got those. a river. A river is not very helpful to me. Uh, there's water. I can't play on that though. Um, uh, maybe I can use this. Nope, oh, already used that. That's not good. All right, well, I think is, I... Is there a total of four different ecosystems in the game? Five. Five? There's five. So I'm going to put a forest down, because we don't have one of those yet. Nope. Put it right there. And I don't think I can play. I don't have any shells. So that's my turn. Okay. So I'm going to pick a card, and from here, I am going to... Where are we with points? Two, four, I got five. You have five, I have three. I think I'm with five. Number five, one, three. You also have five. Four. I have one, two, three, five, four, five. Six, four, five. Oh. I have five. Two. Well, he's blue, four, right? Five, mm -hmm. Oh, I have one, seven. One, two, three, four, three, five. Yeah, seven. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so five. Two, I didn't see that one. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eee
the freaking city mayor makes sense, right? <laughs> I see how this game plays. Right? She's in with All you right, so I gotta I play oh, a... Gotta give each other points. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've gotta play a card here. So let me go ahead and natural disaster play... Um... We're not protecting their ecosystem. So. Need, yeah, I haven't drawn Danger. those cards yet. Danger. Let's Danger. let's let's bring um, farmland back. Sure, you can pay it over again. <laughs> and um, I am going to <laughs> add nine points. off the fossil fuel. Oh. Okay. Okay, well, we need nine to block her somehow. Okay. <laughs> and start hammering away at the those residents energy supplies there. Need to let's see. Get well, out of here. I can do some good stuff. I think. Just make it interesting. <laughs> can make a mess of things, really. Oh, okay. Jason. oh cool. So sustainable management on the forest. So that gives everybody a point. Does that give you ten? It gives that me gives ten. Oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll get to go around one more turn yep so now the, rest of the players will get to go i can, so. I can play this one this time down yeah. on the seashell yeah she has space right there and how many points do you add that's three that's nine for me Ooh, including I was this five. one yeah i was at Ooh. five and that just okay. put me up to nine so it's up to us it's up to us to deteriorate okay. the ecosystems knock, knock the <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> kind of odd the conservation is that <laughs> what can i, I, I do that what can i do, do? let's Destroy drain it. some wetlands <laughs> look at that Gee, how do I do this? Okay, let's see. I don't see. really have anything. That yeah, I'm way can behind. Work. I need to do that. The right ecosystems out there. Yeah, there's nothing with air, huh? No. Not yet. No, we don't have that out. Yeah, that's not going to work for me. Because there's all the pollution from the city. <laughs> there's no clean air out there. Um. Hmm. I guess this, I'm this can gonna... still be used as a forest, by the way. That's still a forest. Yeah, it's still a forest, but it's being sustainably managed. So no event's gonna affect it, but you can still survive have the, natural okay. resources. It would okay. affect a well, natural disaster. It would survive it. Yeah, All right. it's more survive resilient. It. So yeah. in that case, what I'll do is um let's see. So I'm gonna play Ooh. Damming a River. Which I'm gonna one? do since I could play off a forest from that, I'll do this one. And then I'll do hunters and bird watchers of that forest right there. No, they have to use a natural resource. They can't be directly in the forest. Oh, like it, that's just an ecosystem. But sorry, sorry. let's do this first. So if you dam that river, any natural resources that it's producing go away. Okay. Right. So the shells, rocks, and fossil fuels are now not accessible. Which means that these three beneficiaries are not supported anymore. So that will go back to your hand. That will go back to your hand. That will go back to your hand. And this this is just gone. And so are you below ten now? Um, let's see. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, you lost eight. two. Yep. <clears throat> yep. And we both get a point for that, damning the river. We both like that, I guess. Okay. How did you end up with eight cards? Oh, because this goes here. Duh. Okay, so, so I you play can still play a beneficiary. And I can still play beneficiary. Yes, you can. But there's no. There's no. Nothing to play. Natural resources. He functioned as a beaver. He did. That's right. Okay. So. Way to keep that the was game not, going. That was not very conservationist like. <laughs> Way to keep it worked for now. Well, maybe you needed a, uh, a little lake for your fishies or Drinking something. Drinking water. Let's see, what can I play? Bobbin Reservoir. Of course. Uh, we got good. some. Uh, yeah, so some I'm going to, off that uh, sustainable forest, I'm going to play Pollinators. And I like Pollinators. So I'm going to play my Farmer card. Give me three points. Perfect. So where are you? Three, oh. five. Oh, what? I'm at six. Uh oh. Oh, drought on uh -oh. a river. Now you can choose what river. There the are two of one them, not the this one. one. That's not a river anymore. That's a, a lake or something. But these two could be affected. Oh, there's another one. I forgot. When you play that, it's going to affect all the natural resources that that river affects. 
which won't affect this because this is being produced by both those rivers. So this area is fine, but that over there is going to mess up. So that up. Won't, won't hurt anybody. Mm -hmm. Is that what you want to do? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'd look. So this river is in the drought stage, right? So it's not a river. And so it wouldn't produce these fish. But the fish are okay because they've got another river. That's right. Producing. So then that goes away and the ecosystem recovers. And yeah, you don't again. lose your turn. You get okay. to draw another card. Uh oh. Oh, another one. Here they oh, come. Oh, wow. A uh, wetland one. Some basin species, they affect wetlands. And we don't have a wetland out here. So that goes away too. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh. They're all together. <laughs> you Hurricane. did shovel them, right? I did shovel. They all just yeah. ended up together. Uh, no coast out there. So that goes away. Okay. That's interesting. That one, the last oh. one was for what? For... Coast. Hurricane. For the coast. Okay. Oh, my God. Wait. There's no more. <laughs> there's, a, there's two more in there. All right, so now I just picked up my card, and we are going to... So we got coast, forest, river... So I'm going to play land land. my scenic uh, natural places, which okay. allows me to play my three nice. of the residents, and that gives me... Uh, 11. 11. 11, probably, mm -hmm. I think. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, yep. yep. So now... This is really nice too here because uh, it's produced by the river and the forest. Mm -hmm. So if one of those goes down for any reason, it's which this one you. won't, it's still supported. And so your three point card is it's safe. safe. Nice. Which is a little better because the conservationist wants to come along and drain mm -hmm. the river, I think. <laughs> <laughs> drain the rivers! <laughs> drain the rivers! We don't want people. They don't. People need they water. They are those fishes. <laughs> I'm all conservation is for the humans. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Jason's up. So I can get fresh air down off of you mean move the sustainable or, forest, yeah. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I can get the local business owners out here oh, because yeah. of the I like both lungs. those. Perfect. And you give me another point, so, which gives me 12. And they like scenic natural places. Oh, jeez. Well, how many points do you have now? I might have been Eight, seven two, with that. Three, four, five, six, eight. eight. No. Where am I at? I feel like I'm lagging here. <laughs> I think I'm at six. Yeah. You're at six? I'm at six. So we're once again one, dependent on Ricardo one, to... Or me. ...deteriorate. To destroy something. <laughs> Three, four, five. I'm only five. Bring the mayor down. Oh, I suppose. All right, here we go. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotta look now and see. It's just not gonna work out. Well, I had no way I could can't deteriorate. Can't touch that. Can't touch can't. that. I'm stuck now. Uh... Can't touch that one. This one's vulnerable. But that would have to be a river. Rough, rough. Um, might pull it off this time. Yeah, I think she got it. Uh, Once I draw a good card, I don't know much I can do. Let's just. I guess we'll just do we'll do an ecosystem. Have to be next to an ecosystem if possible, and there's one here, so, so it has to go here. Go there, yeah. And then the card that I, the only card that I could play is hikers and campers of fresh oh, air that's here. Point, so that's good. <laughs> yeah. What does it bring you up to? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. That's not too shabby. All right. Oh, that's not good. That's no good at all. Uh, earthquake! Earthquake! Uh, uh, <laughs> need something. I'm the freaking conservationist has to for an earthquake. Something bad to happen. Uh, it's the only one that's available, right? Ooh, man. Uh, I can't play. Any, I can't hurt you anywhere. Nope. 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 Sustainably managed forest is messing me up. Okay. Well, I'll do. No, no, none of those work. I guess I'll do this here. Uh, I have it in there. So I'll do scenic natural places off of the wetland. Uh, and 
I don't think I can play anything. No, could it just be fresh air or that? Nope, that's my turn. Well done. You pulled it <laughs> off. Ten points. It was for Amy. Oh. Okay, let's show them real fast where the, her, she got the ten points. So one. So keep everybody can see yeah. how we score. Let's go up one, here. Two, four, three, four, five. Six, six seven, seven, eight. eight. 9, 10, 11, 11 12. 12. Very cool. Not too shabby. This is, this is a really fun game for being um, yeah, educational right. purse, fun second. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> I want to be more destructive. Certainly gets you thinking about it. <laughs> Definitely competitive, too, in, in a sense, because, you know, I could see once you guys saw the points being put down and, you know, them racking up, it's like, okay, when's that card going to come out where mm -hmm. I can destroy the Sequa system so yeah. that, you know, we can kind of keep the game going but yeah it's right. definitely... to keep the chance alive that you could win you might yeah. have to sacrifice your points to bring sure. them back yeah absolutely also like the randomness of the natural disasters too yeah. i've never seen that happen that before maybe. where they all come out together uh but that's that's part of it right they're random events absolutely. so if you're not protected when they come out bad things happen now as an educational tool for teachers i could see the benefit of this right yeah. like it does not totally feel how like over here when you constructed those condos right there. Yeah. Like you block everything for, you know, yeah. for me as yeah. a conservationist. You and know? me as an agricultural, I really needed that farmland. I wanted yeah. to play off of it. So right. Point at this but, right you know, as, as, as a mayor, you know, I, I feel that, you know, that yeah, sure. benefit. Yeah, that was important to Yeah, that was important to you. <laughs> Good use of the land. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Well, uh, any other comments that you have? Where where can people get this game right now? Uh, so it's available online. Uh, we'll give you the address for the website. Um, basically, right now is what you can do is you can download a PDF of all these cards, print them out, cut them out, and you can use them that way. You can laminate them, right? If you're in a classroom, uh, there's also a lesson plan for teachers associated with this. Um, and we're working on a way to distribute it through a, a card game manufacturer, basically, that you'll be able to order it from them. So we'll, we'll add that link when I get it. Cool. We'll put down uh, the link at the bottom of the description of the video. Perfect. Um, any other comments you guys got on this game? I think I want to play again. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I, I definitely <laughs> yeah, want to play fun. again. I, I want to play again. I definitely want to play again. We're probably going to play next with uh, to the end of the deck, probably. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, yeah, make yeah, it interesting. That'll be fun. Forty-five minute variant versus the ten point variant. Yeah, we can go through this. It's only like two more rounds, really. Yeah. And yeah. In, in every game plays quite different. Like this was a pretty benign game. There wasn't a lot of destruction happening. Yeah. But sometimes, <laughs> sometimes there's a lot <laughs> of destruction. The conservation is so made a strong <laughs> ethos. <laughs> That's what we did. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, if you guys enjoyed the video, please don't uh, forget to subscribe and uh, leave us a comment down below. Check out for that link for the. A gameplay for the nature's yeah benefits. nature's benefits is the name of the game is the name of the game so i'll put it down below and thank you for watching bye <laughs>